got this futon just a little bit ago. Um, I had my train was. I, I was thinking that all this thought about free will, and like yet somehow I feel like even the choices that I make are somehow just being dragged along with all the other choices I make. Like, yeah, I may make a choice, but it just gets dragged along like everything else is being dragged along. And then I was like, okay, so like, that's this whole idea of like fate and how it seems like it's all working towards something. And I was thinking, like, with technology, we can leave boom, make a booming impact on society with using technology. A large group of people. And then it came to the the thought that made me want to make the video was that I, I believe, and I've been thinking this for a little while, if enough people understand something, someone will build it. Not even necessarily one of the people that understands it. But if enough human thought is focused on understanding a specific concept, like nanotechnology, for instance, if someone were to explain nanotechnology in a fluid understanding way and enough people I think it's a relatively small percentage of the base population number. I would say like under 10% of the people. If under 10% of the population understand, like I would say like... I don't want to get into too specific of numbers, but if enough people, the more people, the faster it happens. If enough people understand a process, someone will build that thing, that technology. So we dream about these ideas, and then we look at all the pieces of the equation around us and look and see how they fit, if they can fit, look at all the electricity and like the sun, for instance. I believe when I said it's made of salt water, and people got a good laugh out of that, I'm sure. Uh, I believe that it contains the same chemical components that make up salt water, but not that you would be able to swim in the sun, just that that stuff is there in within this gas of expansion, this gas it, it's just like an expansive beacon I think that there is what Einstein referred to as a white hole inside of the stars and it's that's where the, the matter that's traveling out the black holes, like through the black hole and is being expelled again as energy, as electricity into our universe through the sun as electricity as well as like chemical components and just like atoms and it's just stuff being expelled uh, and it's coming out through the sun and I think some of the stuff that's being expelled is being electrically set on fire because electricity can set chemicals on fire particularly salt water which is pretty interesting that's a newer discovery Salt water can be set on fire with electricity. So I think the sun contains at least that, if not uh, sodium chloride and hydrogen and oxygen, then at least, then something, some chemical like that, no, some, some kind of chemical like that, like another uh, molecular structure, maybe not sodium chloride, but probably. I think that it's abundant on the sun, I read, and I mean, you know it's a hydrogen reaction, all those flames, it, they're electron, they're, it's an elect, the corona, I just watched a video on it, the corona is an electron dispersion from the surface of the sun, and it's these particles, these, these electrons, literally, it's an electron stream coming out all over the sun in, in like this tangled wave and it looks like like fire but it's electric it's like electric electrical fire and when a sunspot opens up it's it's moving it aside almost or pushing the things it's like it's pushing the things aside to channel out a large amount of electricity, a large amount of electrons bursting, bursting out of it. So it's it's permeating through up into the surface, and I bet the pressure is building inside, 
or a ma I bet there's gravity. I bet that its magnetism is building up inside, that it gets very pressurized because the magnets get so strong because there's such a strong current. And every once in a while it just pulls, is pulled out of the sun. It's pulled out of it by the things around it. Particularly people on Earth, I think we have uh, an idea of it, so we have more control over it. Mm, yeah, we definitely have more control over it the more we understand it and more we think about it. But all the things in the universe, all these things are pulling. and So it's like lightning. They say it begins in the sky. They say it begins at the ground because it's beginning at both places at once. Like It's being pulled and pushed out of the sun. It begins in the center of the sun or wherever it's beginning, right near the center of the sun. And it, it's beginning at the place that it is also connected to, where it may be going to or coming from, depending on your perspective. Electricity just is, is a current between two points, although it does travel in a direction. I believe it's being pulled. And what, then I think that projection is just another, electric projection is just another type of allowing yourself to be pulled. Mm. I feel like it's more active than that. Smile, you're on video, I am. So smiling, I'm like, what is smiling? Everybody's all about smiling all the time. Smiling is a show of tension. We smile when we're tense, our face. We frown when we're tense. It's all tension. If you're, if you're calm, the face just looks calm. This magnetosphere, the sun, circulates, circulates? I suppose it's circulating, around this solar dynamo which is the center of the sun. It's the conduit that runs from the north pole of the sun to the south pole of the sun. The sun has poles like the earth, magnetic poles, and there's a dynamo running through it. It's a, it's a, a stream of current that's spinning around uh, a, uh, uh, a cylinder of, I believe, electri electricity or gas or particles, and it's traveling through it and that's creating the magnetism. I believe it's creating the magnetism. Not that it happens to be between the magnets, but that it is the reason that it is magnet. That it is pulling it and holding it and sending it out and holding it. Like th throwing it out, spinning so fast and whipping it out and, then, and throwing it and holding it with, with the very same magnetic force that it's using to, to, it's just such a, it's such a pushing and pulling process that it creates all that energy. It's pulling so hard, but moving so fast that it's pushing so hard. And that's the chaos of life. That's what we are experiencing as humans, personally, as well as these celestial bodies. We have this conduit, this channel of electricity that's creating it's it's a dy it's a human dynamo and it's creating magnetism and it's also creating this feeling of this pressure there's ways to balance it out i want to watch this video though